Good kitten internet. How are you doing today? Let's go back to some wild armor where I have in fact gone back and uh, made Ashley all confused or not confused, um, forgetful. Shove him in the back where he belongs and let us continue. So where we last left off, Brad's dead. Yep, I mean, I did say there were eight characters in the game, and we only have slots for six. Alright. We need to go to Courtly. Easiest way to do that is to get out of the Valeria Chateau. Yeah, do you have anything new to say? Yeah, Irving's such a genius. Dick. All right. Hmm. And then get off the Valeria Chateau. Then use the teleportation arm. We're going back to Courtly. So. Um. Yeah. Today is Saturday or Sunday, August 25th. So it's the day before this will be released. So hopefully tomorrow is a better place than today. Not that today has been particularly bad or anything compared to the rest of 2020, but you know. Just good to have a better day the next day than the previous. Alright. Uh yeah, everybody is healed. Um how are people doing on personal skills? I think I remembered to do that ahead of time. Points zero, points one, point zero. Yep. Okay. And we need to go. I think it was supposed to be over to the left, actually. Macabre. Turn. I think they're undead. Did I already try this and fail? Nope, okay, they are undead. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Ah. Do, 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 do. So, one thing that I've noticed that I'm actually dropping some frames when I record, which is interesting. Um, I have dropped 227 frames of the roughly 52,000 that I've had for recording this. Which, not entirely sure why. There's the um, Lonely Island type place, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the station's right over here. Of course. Necrosaurus! Well, how about a flame? And turn undead, because Necrosaurus is obviously undead. This game is not trying to hide what creatures are, usually. Hmm, Luca leveled up. That's nice. Good job, Luca. So, we're about to have a bit of a um, scenery change. I'm standing right on it. It's Urartu Station? Urartu. It's a subway. Subway. Yep, this totally fits. From Industrial Guild Gala at Disleyheim, the now defunct mercenary state. A very direct subway line. It's the most obvious subway map I've ever seen. It's no turnstiles, though. Thank you for coming all this way. I am Noel Anaheim Guild Gallad. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. 
Oh, no. Oh, uh, how do you do? The, the pleasure's all ours, I'm sure. Ashley, you okay? I was expecting a much more fearsome looking group. But I'm relieved that you seem quite normal. Being guided by stern types can be quite tiring. Uh, Master Noel's in your hands. Please take good care of him. You'll be heading straight toward Guild Galad. With no stops. After all, we can't be too careful. Please, don't let those villains of Odessa harm Master Noel. This kid doesn't need bodyguards. Yeah, you're right. It's almost time for the train to depart. Please start boating now. Well, we better be off then. Wow. This is so cool. Choo choo, suckers. Hmm. Something weird about that last car. Is there something the matter? Uh, no, I was just thinking, no, oh, it's a freight train. Yes, the Dine Bai Gong is a freight train. Is that a problem? What if Gilgalad is supposed to be representing China? Because it's totally not. Gilgalad is a lot more US. But maybe it should be China instead, now that I'm thinking about it. Kind of matches both. No, it's just that since you're the Prince of Guild Galad, I was expecting something ornate and glittery. Glitter? Glitter is not something you would associate with Guild Galad. <laughs> Guild Galad's products are built for quality, not to be pretentious. We emphasize functionality above all else. So the folks of Guild Galad are basically the dwarves of this campaign setting. What does the son of a Guild Galad master have for a pompously decorated train? Besides, I love the Den Bai Gong. I'd rather ride this train than any other. Blink, blink, blink. No! You can dog on the train! Your father will reprimand me if the train doesn't depart on time. Oh, sorry, we'll get aboard right away. Come, oh, but sorry, the conductor's getting impatient. You smelling something wrong? Because I've definitely been smelling something wrong. Also, that's the shortest freight train ever. It's two cars. One if... Yeah, it's two cars. So that's not a caboose. <laughs> They're awfully pretentious. <sighs> really, my father is a problem. He said it's for my protection, but this draws so much attention. I'm in more danger. <laughs> we'll be fine. Oh, well, in case the time comes for military power. Brad, what would you think about this? <sighs> Noel's really very nice. But Noel's father? Ugh. Luca! He's right there! Oh, did I speak too bluntly? Oh, never mind. It's fine. Father's personality is what it is, but everything he does is for Guild Galad. He too wishes to return to a kinder and gentler, gentler world. I wish I could speak. I've thought of this before. Why? When we all desire the same results, do people choose such different paths? I really don't know. Wow, this tunnel is really long. Yes. Originally, it was a cargo route to export goods manufactured in Guild Galad. The scenery before and after the tunnel are dramatically different. Oh, this is odd. What is it, Noel? We should have been out of the tunnel by now. Let's go talk to the conductor, just in case. Oh. Young monster! Why are you so excited? Calm down. 
We can't get out of the tunnel. We're caught in a strange space. We can't even find our position. GPS is down. Ah, uh, it's here. Well, looks that way. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a, well, this is our turn, rather than, it's here. Oh, time for us to act. No, just stay, please. Uh, yeah, you're the expert. I'm going to see the famous arms in action with my own eyes and not interfere. Got it? <laughs> so, Wild Arms 1 had the ghost ship. Wild Arms 2 has the inevitable train situation. We'll protect Master Noel. Just as I thought. Something's on its way. Notice how they're stopping me from going into that other car. Put a pin in that for now. Please be sure to protect Master Noel and the Danbai Gong. Save the game just in case? Sure. Because this is a one way trip. We are in the emulator zone. That's right. The game knows that we're playing in an emulator. No, wrong type of emulator. Well, don't worry about me. Yeah, this place is basically another um, Millennium Puzzle. Ah, uh, left. We're going left this time. And that's back to the entrance, because this is one of those places where directions don't actually make sense. Oh, hey, look, would you look at that? It's the second level of Odessa. Who would have thought? Odessa Man 2. Hello, Dissa Man. Meet Spark. And Sonic Claw. Blap. Tranquilizer Dart. Oh, you made Tim fall asleep. Well, get zapped. Zap. And yeah, Tim's no longer asleep. That's what I thought. Okay. So going left makes us go toward the right. So where's going right go? We are in a new zone. Let's go toward the right again. That eventually brought us back to the start. What about going right? Then left. Ooh, we're in a four directional thing now. Ah. Uh, right? This is something. How can you not question a world full of deception? Worried, confused? You all who don't look back don't deserve a future. Alright, I'm just going to look at this because I don't really feel like messing around with this. There's nothing to find in here, by the way. East, south, so this part I had right. Then east, north, then back through the door in which I came from. There we go. Air ballet! Air ballet is for use with Tim. For the air ballet, plus 
Press square to transform the surrounding air into a spell to be fired forward. By hitting this, blocks and statues can be moved from a distance. Observe. I don't know why it's supposed to be air ballet. I think it's supposed to be air buffet for reference. Yep. The quasi space was turned. Oh, sorry. Oh, what was his voice now? The quasi space was lured by Randolph, the magic key. Hope you meet death in the dimension interval and roll. Hmm. You are Odessa's cockatus? Oh, it's the first time we've met. I am Kena, one of Odessa's cockatus. You arms who opposes Sir Vincefield's ideals. But I think supposed to be you are arms. Or yeah. You've got a red light now. We'll have you stay in the emulator zone with the train. We must arrive on time as scheduled. We want a green light. Translation. Welcome to the fourth member of Cactus. Kana. With Randolph the Magic Key. Why the Magic Key is named as Randolph is never explained in this game, by the way. If that that day of the demon summoning, if not the sword cathedral, if you hadn't returned alive with the demon inside you, our goals wouldn't have been undone. Uh huh? Wait, wait. You're the one that put the demon in here. If so, what are you going to do about it, Ashley Winchester? Uh, I'm going to rip this, this off. Mm. Well, first off, thank you for that rousing speech, Ashley. Now, get away. Let the real party fight. So, fun fact about Kana. Kana's gender is ambiguous. Sort of. It's a translation error. So, you're going to notice in the game that they will use two different sets of pronouns for Kana. And it's not that Kana is gender fluid. It's not that Kana uses two different sets of pronouns. It's the fact that there's a scene later on in the game that the, well, Sony of America was a little squeamish about. And as a result, they changed Kana's pronouns, but they did a really crappy job about it and forgot to change it for an entire city. Look up. Um, let's see. First off, you cast sleep. Miss, miss. Yeah, sleep and, and rise and shine actually only protects one party member in this game. Well, I can now cast Saber. So I'm going to. Kane is not a very difficult boss if I remember right. I mean, my memory is faulty. We've already experienced that many times, but... Reasonably short can is an easy boss. 4D Hyper Blast! It's the fourth dimension! Woo! Splat. 659. Okay. My defenses are a lot higher than what the um, slight guide that I have above me is saying. Oh well. That's their problem, not mine.
Let's first aid anyway, just because. Bonk. So, Ganon's basically the Cactus equivalent of Tim, for reference. Um, he's... Uh, he's a pretty boy. And the whole magic key thing is supposed to be the equivalent of Puka, for reference. I think, I certainly hope that Kane is significantly older than Tim, though, because this would not make any sense otherwise. More Saber. I still don't have enough Force Points. Will now, that's for sure. Blonk. Even 1,000 damage. Unfortunately, this is another mage fight, so... You know how those are. I guess I'll... Well, that dealt seven to Tim. Seven. Tempest. That's it. Darn, mental conversions broke. As long as the generator's running, we can maintain the emulator zone. Looks like we've better hurry. It's an interesting look. Because again, all of these textures are in the game, it's just that they're really being blurred because of how low resolution everything is. So I've never had a good chance to look at what people are supposed to look like. They actually do have an eye underneath Kana's hair. Interesting. Stop! Uh, that's a weird thing for it to stop at. Oh. wonder what they're scheming this time. Maybe getting squished into a two-dimensional object? I don't know. Well, better proceed. Until we destroyed this emulator zone, we can't go back. I guess when Ashley said stop, they literally stopped. All right. <laughs> it's a teleporter puzzle. Who would have thought? Heal up a little bit because there's more here. Obviously, because we're still fighting. So, uh, let's see. What can I talk about? Other than the fact that everybody's asleep. Bioweapon! Huh, dance! Dance! Regroup! Whatever. Um, let's see. So, this is probably the halfway point of the game in my mind. Um... We've got a ways to go still in this game. Are you enjoying it? I mean, I know in my mind, Wild Arms 2 is definitely the weakest of Wild Arms 1 through 3. I don't know how much of that is translation versus... Oh, that was actually a backward teleporter. I should pay attention to what direction the compass is telling me I'm at. Um... Just ignore your teleporter. <laughs> Dumb. Loka must fight alone! Wait, but Ashley has the weather vane equipped, doesn't he? Yeah. Wait, I couldn't get Ashley to join the party! What the heck? I... Huh. Okay. I mean, this isn't going to be that hard, so I'm not too concerned. If it was Ashley must fight alone, I would actually be loading the state. Zap. Bioweapon. 
Oh no, I'm poisoned! So, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts about the game so far? The plot is very convoluted at this point. I'm not necessarily saying the plot will become less convoluted over time, but it's going to be better than... Well, I am sort of saying it will be less convoluted over time, but it won't ever get perfectly clear. Because one, translation. And two... Um, it's a convoluted plot to begin with. Uh, this place messes with my brain, by the way. Okay, I can go there, or I can go here. Go the further one. Blap. If only Tim wasn't so slow. Trank. Oh, hey, look, everybody's asleep again. There's something else I want to talk about. What was it? Sorry, I'm a bit tired for some reason. Not sure why. I slept decently well. Only had a minor anxiety attack. I'm really not sure what direction to go in this puzzle. Does that actually phrase anything? Alright, I'm up at the highest point. I don't know what good that does me, because there's no visible exits. See, this is just puzzle for puzzle's sake in my mind. And that's not what I want. On top of it, yes, there are multiple rooms. Okay, that might have been where I entered at. I don't think so, though. I think that might be a different room. Maybe I should equip the anti-sleep item. I think I have one. Um... I didn't, actually. Huh. Okay. Let's get you no longer statusy. Yep, that didn't help at all. <sighs> Tim reached level 27. Good, unfortunately, I keep falling asleep. Oh, I'm poisoned still. Um, let's see. How about you? So there's basically multiple rooms in here. Oh, there we go. I got out, yay! Just first aid. We need some healing now. Dance! Dance! Zap. Okay, none of them are running away this time. Ooh, SOS? Must be summoning more. Which always has a chance of failure. But you're dead now, and I'm not. Hee hee hee. Yeah, this section of the game almost feels like they realized they needed to introduce Kana and didn't think about how. 
This seems to be the gen generator creating the emulator sound. What should I do? Should I bash it? Says the Crest Sorceress. Well, we won't be able to deliver Null back until we destroy the zone that's holding the train. This might be a bit rough, but let's try something! Whoop. That's one! So we basically so there's multiple rooms that we're teleporting between, and what we really need to do is find the ways into these rooms. What I really need to do is find a way of reducing the random encounter rate. Unfortunately, I can't do that because I have Ashley as an albatross across my neck. Ooh, Tim's now fast enough. Good, that will make things easier. Because I can restore Lilka, and Tim can take out the. Odissaman 2. The palette swapped Odissaman. Aha! Here's the second one. Nope, nope, that's the entrance. Damn it. Wait. I'm getting confused. Okay, there is no exit on this floor. If I could adjust the camera better, this would be a little easier so I can figure out where in the world I am. This one will be easy because they're dead before I get to go now. Or before they get to go now. Okay, there is an exit on this one. I need to teleport somewhere higher. So I need to land up there, basically. Probably draw this out, shouldn't I? Okay. That is the only one on this. That might be entrance, but I'm gonna start mapping this out if it is. Okay. No, it's not. Sweet. Go away. So I've been to the one that is risen in the center and exit to the east. Risen in the center, exit to the east. Also, I have no idea where Isun's hiding right now. So... You have Maya here instead. At least I'll fully heal up now. Zap. <laughs> and they gave me the antidote back that I needed. That's nice. All right. This is the one with the exit in the south that I think we've already done. I can't tell though, because I can't see the stupid exit. Speaking of not being able to see the stupid exit, I think this is... I 
can't tell. Tim must fight alone. Cool. As... Nope, still don't get to see that. Um, as Candace had mentioned, why do they do battles like this in RPGs anyway? Like, could the squishy mage is the only character that can fight? And Wild Arms 3 does this as well. I remember now that Wild Arms 3 does it at least. Okay. This is Exit in the North. I think Exit in the North is the entrance. Yep, yeah, sweet. That's the last, last one I need to touch. Did anything happen? Well, first, let's head back to the train. Oh. It said that it to be good for buying time, but I won't be doing that. Cannon! Fadissus hired you? You should reconsider. Seriously, they're hiring. They hired the guy with Randolph the Magic Key. Come on. But this is a terrorist group which has brought turmoil and destruction to Vilgaia. I'm aware of that. And if so, why? Ashley Winchester, I have my own reasons why I must fight you. Or I should say, I have my reasons why I need to hunt that demon that lurks within you. On a mission to exercise evil. That's true, too. It's not all there is. Cannon fight two with only two party members. The blood in my body is the blood of a hero. As a descendant of the sword magus, I am destined to destroy the demon. That's right. Cannon is a direct descendant of the sword magus. Where have we heard that before? Uh, Sword Magus? That's right. I have lived until today with the purpose of fighting the demon. I've thrown away my womanhood and body and lived as a human concealed weapon. I have no resentment toward you, but I do have reason to take your life. All right, good speech, Chatchley. Go, go back to the back. Okay, this is a very dangerous fight, by the way. Oh, it works fine on there. So, what we need to do is to be faster than cannon, which is why Loka doesn't have quick. Did I seriously? not memorize quick. Oh, crap. I might be in trouble. Don't suppose I put quick... No, I put a high revive in there. Oh, well, this is going to be a lot harder than I was expecting. I'm assuming Luka is not faster than Canon. Let's find out. Yes, I know I was only down, like, by 100, but... Look at how much damage this does. I'm gonna need to be very careful about this. Um, that is not, in fact, her most powerful attack. Her most powerful attack does 2,000. Or can do 2,000. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm a little bit better off than what the guide has. Okay. And Tim's at 40 hit points. Do you see what I mean now about needing to be fast? This is going to be painful. Hmm. 
Let's get Tim back up a little bit at least. Why are you only hitting him? He's already in condition three. Isn't it? You just need to hit somebody other than Tim. A regular attack works fine. I can deal with a regular attack. That does next to nothing in damage. Okay, Tim can actually do something now. That's nice. You know what? I think I might need Grudyev. Oh, actually, I already have the Vitality up. That's Tim with good defense. I mean, yeah, his luck's terrible, but it's Tim. His luck's always been terrible. Okay. Left edge on Tim for only 400 damage. Wow. Okay. So my plan is to buff Tim up as much as I can. And using force points to bounce a whole bunch to get better stats. Live Horn will heal me up. I know I've basically done no damage to Cannon, by the way. I was expecting to take more of a hit than that. Alright, everybody's at full. So Luca, go ahead and shield Tim a third time. Tim, you're going to Plasma Tap. At least hit cannon. Uh, heal. First aid. First aid will at least keep Tim back up, I think. Yep, okay. The regular heal should help some. Actually, Tim, you're gonna FP shift. I need Lilka to actually have more force points than this. There. That should help some. Because now Lilka can throw high heals every turn and actually get Tim back up. Tim, you're going to be throwing high tier stuff. Ah, crap. You're actually hitting Lilka now. Luckily, Left Edge is the weakest one of those attacks. That's a bit of a waste, but that's fine. It's not like I'm using resources. Lilka, you're going to high heal yourself. Oh, that's right. I can... I don't need no shoe axe equipped because it's not doing me any good. Um... Yeah, I heal yourself. Tim, you're going to fire. Ganon only has 7,000 hit points, but... Damn, she hits like a Mack truck. I'm so glad I got those shields up. And she seems to be concentrated on... Ah, uh, Tim. I kicked him. How much is that doing now? Only 800. Okay. I think high heal is actually enough to full heal Tim then. Yep. Good. High spark. And a submerge. Oof. Is that enough damage to actually take out cannon? No, crap. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Hmm. That should be enough to survive. Then cannons hit, and Odorek will full heal. I'm doing a lot of summons this battle. Ah, because I forgot to memorize quick. Whoops. Alright, let's change equipment back again.
I think this is gonna be enough. Yep, okay. The emulator zone's generator's been damaged. Looks like this quasi space won't last too long. Let's call a temporary truce. We get sucked in the zone's collapse, we'll spend eternity as the dead. The only way to get out is to blast the train through the self repairing dimension at high speed. Hurry, Ashley. Hurry, Ashley. Cannon battle 2 complete. Why are you helping us? Yeah, you should answer me, Cannon. What the hell? Oh, it's rather commonplace, but to me, my reasons are important. I do it because I'm the legendary sword that pierces you. Okay. This is the destiny of a descendant of the sword magus. Wait. Ugh, destiny. Do I really have to battle you for such a flimsy reason? Why do we have why do we in the present have to be bound by a destiny from the past? Carrying around my destiny? I've been able to believe in myself. You wanna understand? You wanna understand the confusion of an uncertain self? No, I you're not being fed yet. Oh, by the way, we have a timer now. We need to leave in five minutes. This is not supposed to be hard. I'm totally gonna get lost in here, aren't I? I think this is one that I've already been in. Yes, yes, soon you're gonna be fed. Okay, north and east I've definitely been in. You wanna come up here and say hi, kitty cat? Please? Don't worry about all of Odessa's soldiers that are still here. Did you, don't worry about them. There we go. There's an Isin kitty. Ooh, they actually succeeded at summoning an ally. Hi, Isin. Meow. Meow. Yeah, soon. Don't worry, you're gonna be fed after the recording of this video, okay? Yes, I know that's what I always say. Uh, we're only at 48 minutes, Kitty. Don't worry. You'll be fed in like about 10 minutes or so, okay? As you can just see, soon, but nothing else. Uh, this is the west one. West one is the correct one. Good. Nope, that's the one that had the air ballet. Pretty sure it's supposed to be air buffet, but whatever. Ow, candy cat, your claws are still sharp. There we go. I'm glad that battles don't count for the timer, because these battles can randomly be super long. As soon as just stabbing me repeatedly with his claws. As kitties do. And they're asleep. Uh, oh, Luca's awake. That's nice. How about you die now? Death did, gay. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess what else can I talk about? Um role playing today. That was nice. No! Why did you start the train? I guess now is not the time to ask why. Okay, go ahead and start the merchant scene ignition. See, Noel is actually smart. More. Can you go in faster? This is the limit. If we go in faster, the train is going to explode. I totally used the wrong accent. Move all the passengers to the front! Just checked. 
I just checked. The rear cargoes are just... Uh, the rear cars are just cargo. I just checked. What concerns me is Odessa's motives. Aren't they targeting you? Can't you think of anything else? Does I take, plan to take me as a hostage for a ransom? Funds are needed to run organizations, so terrorists are no different. Maybe they just need money. Hmm. Hey, hey, isn't that what they call the dimension seam? Just over there. Uh, oh. Oh. It looks like it, but it'll close up at any moment. Faster! Uh, yeah, don't tell me, ask me the impossible, I'm telling you. It's going to explode. Detach the rear cars, it'll make us go faster. Young master, th that, th that's... Is there a problem? The rear cars are all cargo. Human life can't be replaced. Or is there something I don't know about? Noel is a very smart person. No, nothing, sir. Well, then you better hurry. So, remember what I said about the emulator zone being very similar to the Millennium Puzzle? It's because it is the Millennium Puzzle, basically. And this was one of Lilka's shots to get her sister out. I take no responsibility for what may happen. Release the rear cargo cars! Cars, there's just one. No. This section deserves an achievement. Achievement unlocked. Hey. I like Noel's hat. Oh my, I'm gonna get you for this. Well, I'm sorry about the train, Noel. We had to sacrifice it to save you. Oh, don't worry about the train. My father hired you to guard me, and you've done that job splendidly. I mean, Odessa attacked, and I wasn't harmed. I wasn't kidnapped. I wasn't stolen. I mean, technically, the entire train was stolen, but whatever. But you were really fond of this train, weren't you? Yeah, but I'm alive. Everybody lived. Nobody was hurt. And you're still concerned about me and my train. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. Young master, what do we do now? Ah, uh, well, you repair the train. Duh. We'll go ahead and return to Gilgalad. Um, if I'm not back soon, father's gonna be pissed. Well, we should go head out. Uh, Gilgalad's located on reclaimed land northeast of the station. Freak car? Oh, I see. Please take good care of master, young Master Noel. I wonder if there was loot on the other one. I just didn't. Oh, I didn't have control. On reclaimed land north to the north is Guild Galad, nation of industry. They built their thriving industry by mining fossils of ancient organomechanical creatures. I think a lot of other ancient secrets still lie undiscovered in this area. How do I get that? Puka? Lucky comb acquired. Nice. Alright. So, we now walk to Guild Galad. Um... We don't have a way of saving yet, so we're going to keep going until the save point, at least. Oh, speaking of a place to save, perfect timing. I guess we're going to stop here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. I know that this video was a little on the boring side. Um, I'll talk to you next time. Uh, in your case, in two days. In my case, after I feed my cats and swap the kitties. <sighs> Bye, internet.